What is going on resellers, hype beasts, and sneakerheads, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Duncan Beaumont, and in this video, we are going to be talking about one of the more underrated sneaker releases of the year, the Rust Pink Air Jordan 3s. Now, these Jordan 3s will be releasing on Friday, May 28th for a retail price of $190, and they will be releasing in limited woman sizing, meaning they'll only go up to a size 12 women's or a 10 and a half men's. Personally, I'm a big fan of this colorway, even though it is more of a woman's colorway, I think it'll go great with a lot of different outfits. Pretty nice summer shoe, and again, I think it's really underrated just because it is a Jordan 3 rather than like a Jordan 4 or a Jordan 1. But regardless, there is still some potential for profit on these, and that is the main thing we're going to be talking about in this video. We're briefly going to cover how to cop these, but again, our main focus will be on whether or not these will be profitable, and that is what we're going to talk about a little bit later on in the video. So if that does sound good to you guys, make sure you go ahead and smash that thumbs up for some good luck both copying and flipping these Air Jordan 3s. Also, if you are new to the channel or you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. We are almost to 8K followers when we hit... We are almost to 8,000 subscribers, and when we get to 10, I'm going to have a nice little giveaway for you guys, so definitely make sure you do go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, quick update on the Cook Group, $15 a month. All the info can be found down below on my Instagram. We offer a ton of information. We got monitors, early sneaker shock drop info, basically anything you get in a $50 a month Cook Group, we're offering it for $15. If you want to join, just go ahead and DM me on the Instagram down below in the description. But anyways, guys, now that we do have that intro out of the way, we are going to head over to Nike Sneakers and talk a little bit about where and how to cop these shoes before we do get into the resale predictions. All right guys, so we are on Nike sneakers right now. These will be releasing on the 28th at 10 a.m. Eastern time via a draw. Personally, I think this colorway is super clean. I love the Jordan 3s and I think that these overall are just underrated in general. If these were a Jordan 1, they'd probably be super hyped up, but they're not. And as far as how to cop these from Nike sneakers, make sure you switch up all your info. That's how it's looking right now. The shipping address, payment method, all of that does need to be different. IP address, switch it all up. Make sure you have different accounts. And honestly, you're going to be better off just going with one main account that has unique information rather than like three accounts with the same info. Because if you go with three accounts with the same info, it's going to be filtered out and you'll have no shot. So that's what I recommend doing for sneakers. Other sites I'd recommend going for, Hibbit Sports, Finish Line, JD Sports. Make sure you're entering in any in-store raffles, that kind of thing because that will help you save on shipping. You'll get the pairs in hand on release date. There should also be a sneakers pass coming tomorrow, which will likely take place around 3 p.m. Eastern time. You can go ahead and follow my Twitter down below. I'll tweet out if that does go live. So basically gonna be a lot of retailers getting these, but I would just stick to the ones with either free shipping, free returns, or the ones that you can get in store, because that is definitely gonna be beneficial, which we'll talk a little bit about later on in the resale prediction part. But as far as what to go for on the release date, you got Finish Line JD Sports, you've got Hibbit Sports, and then of course you have the Sneakers app. Those are the main sites I would focus on at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on the 28th. But yeah, guys, that's about it for how to cop these shoes. All these sites I mentioned do either have free shipping, free returns. So those are definitely going to be the best sites to cop from. And not to mention, they are also pretty easy to cop from manually relative to some other sites. So make sure you guys do go for those sites. And hopefully you'll be able to hit one pair, two pairs, however many pairs you want. And if you want a personal pair, you should be able to get a pair of those. Now we're going to head over to StockX, talk about some resale predictions, talk about when and how to sell them to maximize your profits, and what you should do if they do end up breaking that kind of thing. All right guys, so taking a look at the resale prices on StockX, bids are currently not that high, but that does make sense because we are only about two days out from the drop. So not a lot of people are gonna be paying resale right now when they have a decent chance of getting these for retail in just a couple days. So I'm not really too worried about the bids. As far as the asks go, they're around 250, some close to 260, but mainly around 250. And I would expect a small jump in those asks, maybe up to 260, maybe around 255 post drop. That's what it's looking like on stock X. eBay sales will probably end up being more in the 230 to 240 range. And I would probably stick with either really smaller sizes or these bigger sizes up here. That's likely what I would do. My cook group that I mentioned earlier, we will have stock numbers for sneakers and some foot sites potentially. So that is something we offer, which can help people know what sizes to go for, which will be the most limited. But I'll probably be sticking with sizes 10 and a half to 12 in women's or a nine and a half or a nine to a 10 and a half in men's. Now I do want to compare these to the Georgetown 
Jordan 3s because I believe those were the most recent major Jordan 3 release that we saw and not really a similar colorway. Obviously, these are a navy blue, but similar color blocking and overall just going to be similar demand. So let's take a look at some different sizes here. Size 10, highest bids only 225, but you could easily move these for around 240. Similar with size 11. Now I want to look at what prices were actually after the initial release. And it looks like these did initially release on uh, March 20th. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the prices were on March 20th. So yeah, it looks like they were around 250, got up to close to 260 and then dropped a little bit and haven't really gone up or haven't really changed since then. And I would expect something very similar for these rust pink Jordan 3s. Probably get close to 260 maybe. You'll probably not be able to sell them for that much on eBay. It'll probably be more like a 235, 240 on eBay. And then a couple days after the drop, they'll likely fall in price to around 240. So if, basically, if you live in a state with low or no sales tax, and if you think you can sell these on eBay or sell them locally, I would 100% recommend copying as many pairs as you can. Stick to the sites with free returns I mentioned just in case you aren't able to move them. But eBay is going to be the way to go for these. List them as a confirmed order. Stick with sizes that I mentioned earlier, somewhere like a men's 9 and up. That's what I'm going to be doing. That's what I recommend you do as well. And again, if you have low or no sales tax, if you go for these sites with free shipping, easy $20 to $30 profit per pair. If you get five pairs, that's at least $100 to $150. And if you have the capital, then that can be very profitable, even though the margin isn't the best. That's what I'm going to be doing on these. That's what I recommend you do as well. And the only way I would say pass on these is if you're really not confident in your ability to sell them for profit and quickly, because prices will dip after a couple of days. And then at that point, they'll pretty much likely be bricks. So sell them quick, sell them locally, and you should be able to make some decent profit. But anyways, guys, that is about it. Those are my resale predictions. As you can see, some potential for profit. If you cop from these sites with no, uh, if you cop from these sites with free shipping and free returns, there's really no risk. So that's what I recommend doing, and that's what I'm gonna personally do. Of course, I am gonna try to cop a personal pair, but I will go for other pairs as well to try to flip and make some easy lunch money. And that's what I recommend you do as well, like I said. Anyways, though, guys, hope this video did help you out and hope you have a better understanding of what resale should be post drop. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're able to successfully cop and flip a couple pairs. And until next video, guys, peace out.